Can you hear me now? <laughs> Heard it. Okay. All right. Let me put the microphone on. Can you hear me now? I'm, I'm just waiting to see. Yes, sounds good. Okay. Keep talking. Oh, keep talking. Yeah, that would be good, huh? All right. <clears throat> I'll try to keep talking. So I have my other little thing so I can see the comments. <laughs> That's what I've been looking at. Um, Mike is very scratchy. All right. Um, let's try a different mic, okay, Becca? Or different setup. Okay, how is it now? Is it still scratch scratchy? Oh, I want to show you guys my cat. This is Frank. Oh, this is Frankie. <laughs> okay, no mic now. <clears throat> How does it sound now? All right, so let me just say hi to everybody. Try without the mic. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Except for the mic on my cell phone doesn't pick up as as well. But if you guys can hear me okay and it's not um, scratchy, then we'll just we'll just do that. All right. It's still scratchy. You, well, you know what I think it is? Is because of my internet, um, all of the broadcast is going to the video, and so it doesn't pick up the quality of the microphone as well. That's my only guess, because I use those mics all the time with my regular um, videos, and they don't they're not scratchy at all. So, um, let me see who's here so I can say hi. Mary Jane, hello. Ken Burris, so Becca, Shelly, um, Nita, hi, how are you doing today? Uh, let's see who else we got. Diane, hi, Diane. Hi, Vicki. Hope I'm not missing anybody. Hi, Brenda. Glad to see you here. You gonna help me with this art quilt today? And hi, Jim. Hi, Robin. Let's see. All right. So, is the video loud enough, though? Can you, other than being scratchy, can you hear me okay? All right, so um, I think I'll just get started. And so I wanted to um, work on this art quilt a little bit because I haven't worked on it since the last time we did it together. That, that's been a long time. So <laughs> you guys feel like hanging out for a little while, visiting? ask questions, and um, I'll try and answer any questions you have about doing an art quilt. Robin says, is it my phone? I cannot hear you. Hmm. Robin, um, do you have some headphones? Put those on. <laughs> Nita's working on her swap stuff and 
listening to me. Okay, great. Still very garbly. Well, but can you understand what I say? Read my lips. All right. Okay, it looks like you guys are just talking about the weather. Well, I'll tell you what, we got a warm snap today. It is almost 60 degrees. Yeah, 60. But uh, my husband hasn't been feeling good all morning. He's been... Uh, just laying around in the recliner with the um, his oxygen on. Hi, June. Um, and then he went and took a nap, got on his CPAP machine. And um, after he did that, after about an hour, he said he felt better. So, I don't know. He says he wasn't an aphid, but... I think he's fibbing. <laughs> so, all right. Um, so the first thing I wanted to say was, <clears throat> thank you all for joining me. If I, I see a lot of people here that I've, you know, have known for quite a while, but if there's anybody new later on watching this, I just want to thank you for subscribing to my channel. And um, things will get better with technology. <laughs> Not sure when, but it will. <laughs> um, I'm working on it. So um, They say that if you want to do a YouTube channel, just start doing it. But they don't tell you, you know, get all this and that first and then do it. <laughs> so we'll get there. So I appreciate everybody's patience. Um, let's see. <clears throat> all right. So I had a few questions about the art quilt and so I just wanted to address those. Um, for those of you now or watching later as you know this is my first art quilt and I'll put that over there so I really don't know much of what I'm doing and there's not that very not very many videos out there telling you you know how to do the art quilt art quilt excuse me you whiz I think it um, I shouldn't be drinking lemon ginger tea. <laughs> um, anyway, so what I've done, this is my dog, Cookie, <clears throat> and y'all know she passed away a couple of years ago, and I just dug through some photos, and, um, found one that I liked that but it was really small you know it was just a regular little photo and so I put it in my copy machine and I blew it up and so I I blew up a bunch of photos like this and then I blew up black and white ones the black and white ones are really important. Um, like this one. And then, you know, I have this one up here and another one here. And then I took... Um, this is a piece of muslin that you could use any, you know, like an old sheet, white sheet, or whatever you want to use. 
I highly recommend that it's something light that you can see through. Okay, so that's what I have here. And then I, this is a large, great big clipboard. It has two clips on each side. And then I put a piece of batting or felt actually, but you could use batting on the back. And then I clip the um, muslin to it. Before I put the muslin on there, I took one of these photos, like this photo right here. I took this photo and I put it in the window and I taped it up in the window. And then I put this piece of muslin over this photo and taped it up in the window also. And then I outlined her face. Okay. When I did that at the first time, I only did like a, br a little outline of her and I was having a lot of problems with doing it that way. So then I put it back up in the window and I came back in and I sketched all of the dark areas like in the nose and I just used a pencil, a regular pencil and I just started um, sketching in all the dark areas and so then that helped me a lot more you know, okay, I need dark here, this is lighter, that type of thing. So it's really important that, um, oh, the other thing I wanted to say is if you're doing your first one, I, I also recommend that you go as big as you can because the bigger it is, the, to me, so far, the easier it is because you get to, you can cut out a little bit bigger pieces. If I had made her really small like this photo, um, that would have, you know, I would have been cutting out really small pieces. And I just feel that um, that would have been more difficult for the, your first quilt. So make your photo a little bit bigger and trace it on. And also really highlight those dark areas where you need to put it dark material and that okay but I hope that answers some of the questions that I had on that um, let me hang this back up all right let me just look through the comments real quick and um, see where I left off is worn out and she doesn't know why probably ignoring getting my um, 2019 taxes done <laughs> what um, I lost my oh here we go I thought I lost my chat Okay, looking for a nap often helps. Diane says a nap off, often helps. It allows the heart to relax a bit. That's what I think too. And I always tell him when he's not feeling good like that to put his legs up, you know, gets in the recliner and I, I'm always telling him to put his legs up. And that seems to help in uh, drinking water. Um, let's see, what did June say? June is doing good. Okay, great. Hi, Patty. Okay. Okay, looks like everybody's just talking about naps. <laughs> okay, so 
Do we have any questions on the ARCWA? Ricky uh, is drinking the Energy C again. I'll tell you what makes a big difference for me is vitamin D. If I don't, if I don't take my vitamin D, I, I get to aching really bad. <laughs> and, uh, and I'll think, oh boy, what did I eat that got me all tender and sore and everything? And you know, like I can't think of anything that I ate. And then I'll remember, oh, I forgot to take my vitamin D. And I'll take it, and then about oh, a couple hours or so, I'll, I start feeling better. So, there's that. Okay. So, what do you guys think about the dog so far? Nothing is glued down yet, still. So, um, the other things that are handy to have is the tweezers. Some real pointed tweezers. And then I have another pair of tweezers that, that are kind of flat. Um, I have a pair of duck bill scissors and that way I can get in around when I need to. I also have these. I really like these because they're kind of serrated and so when you cut the, ma the material um, it kind of makes a ser serrated edge and so you don't get all that all your um, threads you know falling out and stuff. So I, have, I have those. Um, I have another pair of reading glasses if I need them. Um, then the glue. I'm using this glue. But I also have like um, just Elmer's and this is washable clear glue. I haven't used that yet. I have a lot of supplies I haven't used yet. Um, the other thing is um, I have pins. Incense. I also have a gray pencil. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet, but I have it. So these pins. I like these really long ones. And you can just use those to pin up your fabric. So it doesn't move around on you. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Oh, Brenda's Wi-Fi went out. Sorry, Brenda. Well, you can go back and watch the replay. Jim likes the pup. She's looking good, Teresa, says Kim. Um, hi, Mary. Um, Mary had problems too on the Wi-Fi, it looks like. Um, <laughs> oh, hi, Vicki. Vicki Lem Lemurny. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Sorry. Oh, Mary said she's not getting notified. Okay. So, 
Can you see this? I'm not sure what device you're using, but like on this, I would go bring down that cat. All right. Well, that's not going to work. I don't know what I would do. Um, where it says subs subscri subscribe, make sure next to it that you have, click on that bell and then select all and hopefully you'll get notified. Um, also remember there's a thumbs up <laughs> and yeah all right and please be sure to subscribe. Yes Vicki I know um, it's because of the internet. I'm sorry. The bell is covered in. Strange. Huh. Mary loves the dog. Vicky says, okay, no problem. Yeah, it, it is going to sound garbly. There is nothing I can do about it. I'm really sorry. Um, I don't know why it is doing that. I think it has to do with the internet. Yeah, throw the mic is right. I've tried three mics and they all do the same thing. Um, and somebody said it was better without the mic. So we're just using the microphone that is on the phone. All right. So I... I left off at Vicky saying, throw the mic. <laughs> so hopefully I remember that. When I... Okay. So those are some of the things that I use. And then, of course, the fabric. And you all know I've been collecting a lot of batiks. Probably a lot more than I really need. Um, so I did watch, uh, Susan Carlson the other day, and that was pretty interesting. She was helping some, somebody with their project, and I thought, that's what I need, so I need to send her an email and ask her how, how I get on that. Okay, can you guys see? I wish I had a radio on or something. Um, and this. That's okay. Might be a little too dark right in there. Um, oh, Mary is having problems. Um, I think YouTube is messing with her. She said she's having problems with Sobeka's too, getting notified. 
might be a loose connection. Um, <laughs> Jim says ignore it. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Uh, if you're talking about the crackling noise. Jim wants to know what kind of tea I'm drinking. I'm drinking um, lemon, ginger, and then also have a, a black tea bag in there that has been used a couple of times. <laughs> it's really good. And then I use honey. Uh, Vicky says, after line, check cord. Vicky, I'm using the mic that's on the cell phone. So there's no cord or anything. Um, yes, that's right, Jim. I've tried all of the mics and everything. <laughs> Uh, Nita said she's going to go into all of her YouTube noti uh, channels and check and make sure she's getting notifications. Um, Vicki says we could have a tea party. Sounds like Vicki likes tea. Kim loves tea. Um, her favorite is Earl Grey. That's my favorite too actually. That and um, I love chai tea. Oh, I think chai tea, dark uh, spicy chai is probably my favorite. And then Earl Grey. And then um, if I don't have any of those, then I start drinking weird things. <laughs> weird concoctions. So... Yeah, in the winter time, or fall and winter and spring, I drink hot tea, and the rest of the time, I um, drink cold tea. <clears throat> okay, I better stop reading and start working. So I'm trying to get this nose part here. And that's the black that goes around the nose here. And then this part. I think I put a little more um, a more light brown in through there maybe. And then just put it, let's see, would that be good? Okay. 
If I like that or not. Let's see, what other colors do I have? Jim drinks iced tea all summer too. June is asking, uh, the phone speaker is fuzzy. Is that what everyone's saying? Yes, that's what everybody's saying. Mary, <coughs> excuse me, Mary Jane is drinking iced tea. Diane loves iced tea too. She loves tea, hot or cold. what Mary said. Kim wants to know um, how long it took me to cut the pieces. Um, well, I just cut them as I go. Are you, you talking about these pieces? Yeah, I just cut them as I go, so not very long. I you guys have seen everything that I have done on this project. If you watch the other videos, I haven't done anything unless I'm on the video. So that's how long. Taking me forever. Because <laughs> I get to talking. Um... Talking about teas. <laughs> yeah, okay, so this is what I'm wondering. Is it the light? The fl fluorescent light? Let's try that. wonder if I move... we're going for a ride is it worse over here <laughs> okay I just did that because I want to know is it that the light Um, can somebody please get rid of that no difference? Um, Kim or Kim, could you? Did somebody say a bad word in here? Looks like it. Shame on the sound. All right. Okay. Well, it's not the light. All right. Put you back.
Well, we tried. Okay, no different. Thank you, Angela. Oh, hi, Angela. I didn't know you were here. Thank you very much. <laughs> I was trying to... Um, it wasn't a very nice word that person said, was it? Oh, I know what the problem is. I don't know if I'm on live. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Yes, thank you very much for taking care of that. Okay. Okay. Um, on some of my other videos, I do as premieres. So, what a premiere is, um, is a pre-recorded video. And so it's, yeah, I don't have any problems with those. And so... It's a pre-recorded video, and then I can chat with you. The live is chat, or the chat is live. <laughs> God. Okay, so um, that's what the difference is, and that's why I've been doing those premieres because every time I do a live, the the volume is garbly, and I and I'm sure it's because of the internet connection. Or the phone. I got a new phone ordered, so. Well, I saw a troll and they said the B word. So, <laughs> I'm glad you guys didn't see it. All right. Yeah, my volume is really bad. Well, that's really uh, strange. Now, can you guys see this? When you are on um, a laptop or, you know, a phone or something, uh, YouTube has two types of chat. It has a live chat and a talk chat. And the way that you change that is there's a, right next to the X, there's this, you know, I don't know what it is, arrows. A bunch of little arrows. And you press on that and it'll pop up and it'll say talk chat and live chat. You always want to go to live chat. That way you will get it in your feed live. So as it's coming in. Um, if you don't do that and you have it on top chat, then it'll just pick the person who is talking the most and post theirs first and you won't see yours, you know. So um, that happens a lot on, on that. So yeah. Um, I've noticed that people don't change their their chat to live, and that's how you do that. Um, yeah, Angela, did you hear what I said about um, the video when I was making that box? That was a pre-recorded video. And it was called a premiere. So, you get the under. You guys get that? Understand that? All right. Um. So that um. That might be why you didn't see that um, troll in the chat. It's because your chat is on top chat, not live chat. Okay. The other thing is, I wanted to tell you guys, when you're trying to get somebody's attention, 
Um, let's see. Okay. Like here, Kim. You see where my name is highlighted in purple? And she does the at sign, and then she puts in my whole name. So you got to put the person's whole name in. So at Teresa Louise I Quilt 2. And it's got to be exactly um, correct. You can't have extra spaces or no space where it doesn't belong, that kind of thing. It has to be exactly how they have their name written, okay? If you just go at Teresa, then it's not going to highlight. I won't see any highlight there. So I've seen people do that quite a bit in my chat and other chats, and I wanted to bring that up. Um, so I hope that makes sense. So like if I wanted to get Vicky's, you know, I would do the at sign and then Vicky, you know, space L A M E R E. You know, put the whole thing in there and then it'll highlight their name. Okay. Um, yeah, Vicky, that suit sounds good. Oh, raspberry sweet tea. Diane likes raspberry sweet tea. I do too. Hi, Patty. Um, just so you know, Patty, uh, the volume is garbly and there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> yeah, uh, Angela, right. Um, as soon as it came on, it's like I saw, I saw the nasty comment actually on my cell phone when I was trying to fix the volume thing. And then that's why I grabbed my tablet because I was trying to find it, but my tablet was on top chat and not live chat, and so I couldn't find it. And, but um, Angela got it, so that's great. I don't know why people have to do that. It really irritates me. And, and to say nasty words, I mean, come on. Grow up. <laughs> get a life. Okay, so I'm going to get back. I said hi to Patty, and that's where I ended off at. So, <laughs> One of the things I learned you could do is, once you get your fabric down, you, you could always go back in um, with a fabric pencil and do some shading and highlights and so I might do that or maybe even fabric paint <laughs> all right so I want to mm, is that going to be I want this to fade in to be in a little darker <clears throat> as it goes. So this one might be good. It's a little darker. So.
Yeah, beautiful day here today. Almost 60 degrees. I can't believe it. What a beautiful day it was. I went and actually was able to take a walk today with the pups. I went on a really nice walk this morning, you know, about 11 o'clock. We had a really nice walk. Yeah, it was a beautiful walk. <laughs> I can't talk and think at the same time, you guys. It's okay if you, you know, go over the fabric like that. Well, thank you, Diane. She says, please like and share and subscribe. Yes, please. Angela's back. Um, let's see. No, we don't need people like that, Angela. That's for sure. Patty Timmon, hello. I'm watching on my phone and my TV. I can't ch chat on my TV. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, Jim's going to have something with ground pork and potatoes. Patty C. is making clam chowder. That sounds good. Um, yeah, Robin, if you were here earlier, I mentioned that I went and looked at Susan Carlson's channel the other day, actually, and I watched that video where they were doing that dog that ended up turning out pretty good um, Robin says she's working on a dog yep that's right Robin I saw that Hey, they're talking about a slow cooker. I love using my slow cooker. I love making soup. <laughs> soup is my favorite meal.
Yes, Kim keeps us on our toes, that's for sure. Glad you're back, Angela. Mary says the static doesn't bother her. She just loves watching because uh, she wants to learn so much. Okay. Well, good. Uh, Brenda's phone died. She said, the uh, oh, crap. <laughs> Yesterday, Vicki cooked spare, rat, spare ribs, onions, and potatoes. Mm. All in one pan. That sounds good. I want to learn this too, Brenda. Jim had some snow. It just didn't last long. Brenda had fajitas. Mmm, delish. Um, Angela pin basted a Christmas tree wall hanging this afternoon. Oh, good. We'll start quilting it tomorrow. Um, she said it sounds silly, but she has to look at it for a while until it tells her how to quilt it. That is not silly at all. That's exactly what I do. Sometimes I'll have a quilt on the frame three or four days um, until it talks to me <laughs> and tells me what it wants. Um, Vicki said the bunnies were out eating killed apples and that she had thrown out. Mary uh, wants to know if Angela has a long arm. Um, June is going over to her sister's and they're going to have something with hamburger. I had tacos last night. Those are really good. So Angela quilts on her domestic sewing machine. <clears throat> Mary wants to know what kind of sewing machine Angela has. Um, Diane says she's done the dogs. Okay, let's get back at it. I think I'm all caught up. Let's see. Oh, it's almost 3 o'clock. Well, we've been on for almost an hour, and I've only put, one, <clears throat> what, three pieces on there? <laughs> That's pretty bad. Um... I want that nose to have a little more highlight because that's where the this brown part is right there. Or at least a little bit of a different color right there. Yeah, that might be all right. And I might go up a little bit. lost the I need the like a black thing right in here where the nose is kind of lost that but you can't see that part too well on this photo I think I might uh, use a fabric marker for that 
what do you guys think of the top part up here? I think that turned out okay. And then I want to... I think I'm going to... I want to fade it down. I think I want... No, 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 no. Let's do this. I thought I had some of this cut up already. This is really pretty. So yeah, I'm thinking about sending Susan Carlson an email and ask her how I get on her good side. <laughs> how I take a class from her online. She's doing them. And see if I can't get some help with this quilt. Or art quilt, yeah. I think you just kind of have to start throwing some fabric up there and playing with it. If you don't put something up there, you're never going to get anywhere. Right? Plus, I need to start gluing these down so they'll quit moving. Yeah, I like that. All right, put a piece down and read the comments. Angela says it's going to be in the 30s tomorrow in central New York. Ooh. Well, then you'll be just about where I'm at. <laughs> um, Patty uh, says she, she quilts on her domestic modern quilter. It can't keep tension. I do it very slowly. Oh. That's really frustrating. Angela says if she ever, ever buys a, another machine, it'll have a lot larger throat space. She never realized how important that was until she started quilting. I hear you. The first machine I tried doing free motion quilting on only had six inches of throat space. It was a, one of those little Kenmore sewing machines. It didn't take me long to figure out <laughs> I needed something different. And then it still took me about six months of doing research. And that's 
um, I decided to get for the money to get the brothers. And that's why I got it. Diane thinks that all sewing machines that say quilting machine should have a stitch regulator. I agree. But you're not a quilting machine otherwise, right? All right, we're just talking about snow. Brenda says she would like to get in on a Zoom class. Maybe we could do the same class, Teresa. Oh, that would be fun, Brenda. That would be fun. Do you watch um, Susan Carlson? Also, I'm going to send her an email. I'll let you know what she says. I have my long johns on all the time. Even in the um, summertime. Because it's always cold here in the mornings. Okay, bye Diane. Uh, bye June. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to go pretty quick, too, because I'm going to have to go to the little girl's room. <laughs> you guys don't want to sit around and hang out waiting for me to get back from there. Okay, let's see. How's that nose looking? Someone keeps asking about thread painting. Um, thread painting. Well, great nose. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so thread painting, you know, is painting with thread on your sewing machine. I haven't done any of that, so. Except for, I guess you could say when you're quilting on your long arm, you're kind of thread painting. So I guess I have done a little bit of that. So I um, use thread to highlight certain areas of the project, like that cougar quilt I did. Um, I did a lot of thread painting with that. Uh, so I used some yellowy gold tones on that cougar to bring out the light, and then I used some darker browns to, you know, push back the darks. Brenda asked about the thread painting. There are some videos online on YouTube of showing you how to do thread painting with your domestic machine. Okay. I gotta stand back for just a second. Oh yeah, I think that's I think the nose does look good. Sometimes you have to get up and move away from the project. Um, and I want that. I need to keep bringing, I need some of that, more of that. Let me put some of this over there. I'm trying to follow the grain, if that makes sense <laughs> to you. Um, so when I'm cutting the fabric, I'm just trying to uh, do a flow, make a flow. 
of the fabric. I want the fabric to flow the way the hair is flowing there, is what I'm trying to do, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And then I am also um, trying to match up some of the lights and darks. Boy, um, when it got really cold, you know, the flies all went dormant. Now with this warm weather, too dark. This is too dark. Um, now the flies are out. You're driving me crazy. Okay, let me look, see what you guys are saying. Well, you see where this, this is dark. Okay, that's, uh, that is dark right in through here. And that's where that is, this piece right here. So maybe I just need that right there. YouTube thread painting. Mary says it might be near the dog's gray. Linda said, I was saying on your dog, will you go over with thread painting? Oh, if you fill in the areas, and are you adding fabric with that in mind? Um... No, I'm not adding fabric with thread painting in mind. But um, what I will do is after I get it, all the fabric down um, and glued down, then I will come back in and put some thread painting in the areas I think it needs. So I'm not too worried about things being too dark. Because I'm going to come back in with light. With my um, fabric art pencils. Okay. So um, I want it to be a little darker than, um, than maybe what the photo is. So I can come back in and actually use the thread painting and use my art pencils to bring out some highlights. Does that make sense? Uh, 
And well, Robin took uh, art, a collage class a couple of weeks ago, and she learned so much. Well, Robin, <laughs> let's do some FaceTime in here. I need to learn. Um, hand toss crafts is here. Hello. Thank you. Thanks for coming by. I hope you're subscribed. <laughs> Maybe a gray, says Patty. Looks too similar to the other colors. Okay. You guys do. Okay, so you don't like that one. All right, I'll take it off. Yes, right, Tula, Tuli. Uh, yes, I have a bunch of that. I'll be using that too. Robin says I will have to show that. Yeah, I thought you were uh, subscribed, hand tossed, crafts. <laughs> I've seen your name before. Yes. Yeah, so I have a bunch of that. So, right, I can come back in with the Thule. This stuff here. Because I'm going to have to, before I quilt it, put this tule over the top of it, like this. And so in certain areas, I can come over the top of it with this white. And then in other areas, I could come back over if I, you know, need something to be darker. And give it some more dimension. So, I'm, you know, keep that in mind, too. So, yeah, you got to be thinking about all that stuff. Um, you know, uh, here's the thing. Whoops. <laughs> Remember, I showed you this painting? So, as a painter, I'm used to laying down the darks first. So, like on this painting, every I laid all the dark down first. Even on the squirrel, you know, the tree, everything. And this was this is in oils, and then I came back over the dark and put in my light, and so. Um, that's, I think, what I'm doing on this art quilt, because I'm so used to painting, um, and with the type of paint I use, I always put the dark down first. So, um, so yeah, so I could, you know, use this piece here. And then bring in a piece of that white tule, and then that would really lighten it up if I needed it to be lighter. So. Does that help? <laughs> Does that give you a better understanding? Um. Pencil colors, yes, that's right, Robin. And I have a lot of pencil colors, so that Thule will lighten it up. That's right, Brenda. Patty says she learned a lot today. Thank you. Jim says he must have missed that part in other videos. That that could be. 
So, um, at the beginning of the video, I tried to go back over everything um, that I have done, but I don't think I mentioned about laying the dark down and light down and how my brain is working it because I'm used to painting. <laughs> and I think I maybe I need to um, look at it differently. That's why I would like to take a class. Mary said her daughter is an art student and she thought that the Thule idea was a really cool. Angela says that's beautiful. She must be talking about the uh, the painting. Robin says that really changes the look when you put the um, Thule on. Yes, it does. That's right. So I'm going to have to put that on anyway. It's all of it's got to be covered with that with that tule, and I don't have any um, neutral, you know, or see through. It's either going to be a white or a black or a brown or yellow or uh, whatever colors I have. So I have to keep that in mind too because um, you can't just glue this down and then quilt it. You ha you're going to have to cover it up with something. So, you know, like I even have this orange piece. And look, if I decided, you know, look what that does. If I decide I want to bring this orange piece in, that really tones that down a lot now. Um, so... Yeah, you have to you have to think about it that way too. For sure. What are the things you're gonna that you have to put on there? You know. Uh, trying to see if I have another color. Oh well here's a piece of purple. You know, what would happen if I put purple on that? That kind of brightens that up. But it also kind of blends it up, too, if that makes sense. So, yeah, i got to be thinking of all of that stuff, too. Okay. Um, Robin says, I've never used pencils. Are there special pencils for fabric? Yes, there are. There are, Robin. Uh, Brenda says, plus gray thread, different thread colors. That's right. That's right. So, you know, actually, I wouldn't even have to put this piece right there that I put there. I could just leave that and then use my thread to get the highlight that I want on that nose, you know. Don't, I don't have to use the fabric, and, I, and that might be what I do. Um, Jim says it makes sense now. Okay. All right, you guys. Um, how long? It's almost, well, it's 3.23. So... We've been on for almost an hour and a half, or I have. Um, hey, somebody gave me a thumbs down. That wasn't nice. <laughs> I know that YouTube doesn't care, but I care. Um, okay, I'll wait. I'm going to wait a few more minutes. Is, are there any more questions? I know, Angela, it's not nice at all, is it? Because <laughs> I try so hard. I do. I do try hard. Okay. So let me tell you... Um, oh, good night, Vicki. I was just going to tell you... Um, 
this coming week, I'm going to try and do a, uh, a quilt using fat quarters. And what we're going to do is go through our fabric stash and try to pick out the colors that we're going to use in there. Um, I've seen uh, quite a few comments here and there, all over, um, and I, I've seen this for years, and this has always been my problem too, was picking those colors that are going to look good in your quilt. So um, next week I want to do some videos, and I'm probably going to do them as a premiere, just so that we get a better quali quality video. Um, we'll go through my fabric stash on the fat quarters and pick out some different colors and then um, we'll throw a quilt together. So I got some ideas running around in my head about that. So I hope you guys will um, want to join me and um, that we could do some fast and easy projects with our fat quarters in case anybody has um, some gifts they need to get made for um, for the holidays, for Christmas. So I'm hoping to do that. Oh, good, Patty. I'm glad. Um, thanks, Brenda. Um, Nita said that I'm making wonderful prog progress, and she wants to learn more about the process. I don't feel like <laughs> like I made very good progress, but thank you. Um, I just so much talking. It, we learned a lot. I still think we learned a lot, right? You know, we talked about a lot of different things that we can use on the quilt. Oh, maybe it was the troll before you got rid of her. Yeah, it probably was. Um, the other thing, you know, I notice I do this a lot is because I have the, um, not bifocals, but the progressive lens. And so I have to look, I either have to tilt my head back, you know, to look through the reader, or I have to go like that, push that up so I can see through the reader. <laughs> That's why I'm doing that all the time. So I can see through the reader. I hate these glasses. Um, Mary says she'd like to watch me long arm from beginning to end. Uh, how about on a small quilt? Because right now I have a large quilt. But the next time I get a smaller quilt, like a baby quilt or something like that, we could do that. You want to... Maybe do that live. If I can get, if my new phone comes next week, we'll do it live. Okay. Mary would like some gift ideas also. Okay, Mary, uh, also keep in mind that Creative Notions, um, Vicki said that she's, they were going to be posting videos every week in November about making gift ideas. So you could um, check those out too. Alrighty. Well, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Um, I really appreciate you showing up. I'm really sorry about the, um, the audio quality. There's nothing I can do about it. So maybe when I get that new... Uh, recording device that'll take care of it so um, so I, I don't know how else to do this but just say okay that's it because we got such a delay thank you again so much I really appreciate you subscribing to my channel and all the support that you give me and I hope that I give you as much support as you give me Thanks so much, you guys. Now, you get out there and make something. Although today is Sunday, you could lay around. It's okay if you lay around on Sunday. I like to do that a lot. So, Take care. Until next time. Bye for now. Now I got to...
get that darn thing to stop.